well water is the fundamental to all basic civilization it's uh, one such key factor without the existence of which we cannot existence our survival let's just say is a prime requisite for all living organism water is the very important source of nutrition what is happening in today's time uh, in farming we are all making use of the synthetic fertilizers and pesticides even the industrial waste these are all mixing with the ground water it was been told that india like country or like india when they planning to go for the electricity for the hydroelectricity mm -hmm. most of the part of the time of the year yes was uh, dried up they don't have the water water is an inevitable part of our life Our life cannot go without water. Even ancient civilizations also grew up centering water. So let us all do our part to keep the human civilization water centered. This gives us an idea of sustainable development. Exploring water quality in India and Delhi. This is a very unique project. I'd say uh, the whole idea is so unique and creative in its in itself. Like the first part of the project itself, exploring is just more than just more, you know. Um, and this whole idea of bringing two parts of the world together for a similar cause, for such an important cause that is water conservation, that was really interesting to me. And uh, when I first got to hear about the project. Um, I was really excited because this whole communication—it's—it's it's not a regional project or an international project. It's—it's it's at the international stage, you know, where uh, India and Kenya are coming together for a water project like this. It was really unique. Twenty uh, fourth of October last year, when we were informed that we are going to participate in exploring water quality in India and Kenya, named project. And then on twenty sixth, we were invited to the American consulate. For attending a video conference with Ma'am Carol Henley and Mr. Alan Fryer, I knew about the project and its mission. After reading Ma'am Carol Henley, I came to know that learning nature is not limited to books, but it's all about the practical experience. Then uh, we were informed about the we were informed about the project. Informed about the project, the very brief detailing was done. Also, uh, also the module the sheet where the module details were there. We were, we were provided on 25th of uh, October, and on 26th we cleared all our doubts, like the fluxes, what are fluxes, how we can understand them, and also they gave us various sources, the documentation of sources where we can actually read various materials, like the water footprint calculator two or three, which is I created by them. We went to three modules, where the first module was very interesting because it included integration of people and knowing how people are dependent on water. Module one was really interesting. We went to the Uh, ponds. We went to the river water bodies, and we surveyed people there. We asked people questions. We interrogated them, and we came to know about their things, about the historical importance of the pond, about how the about how they used to sell, how they used to do fishing culture over there, and fishing system of the pond, and uh, if they used it, if they used the pond water for drinking. And it was really interesting. One was all about. Testing the water quality or knowing about the ponds, we went to different ponds and then asked uh, asked people about the ponds and their, how are they dependent on that. And then we also conducted some awareness programs and etc. In module two, what we did was we went to Barakpur River. We collected the water samples, which was very, very interesting. And then we conducted tests. And after that, we prepared posters and again spread awareness about the quality of water there. It was really interesting. It was based on water quality research. In module two, we had to work on the water quality. We need to find out how water quality varied with time. We are given a certain river, the Barakpur River, where we went. We took water sample from there. We tested it, and what we found was that. The chlorine level, oh, sorry, the residual chlorine there was very low. It was almost none. In all our tests, there was no chlor residual chlorine found there. 
So the disadvantage of it was that uh, there was not any such disadvantage about flowing river. Means absence of vegetable including does not affect the flowing river. But if we store the water for sometimes the absence of it uh, creates creates the space for bacteria to germinate and so algae can grow when it is stored. We conducted turbidity test, hardness, and we found that the pH there was quite alkaline. It was probably because uh, people there use the water for daily for bathing and washing cattle, so the soap created alkaline in the medium. And we also tested for nitrogen, chlorine, uh, fluorine, and all that. We are test using H2S strip. The H2S strip showed positive result for portable drinking. Also, from the people, we found out that they used to consume water every day. And it didn't cause any major damage. Yeah, it was surprising because their cattle was being washed in the river, and also people were bathing. So, water portable from that part was really surprising, very hard for the first time. But uh, our test was, but since our bacteria test of positive results, we got confirmation that yes, uh, water can be drunk. Actually, the part of creating MNS was targeted for modules and modules, particularly modules I say. For modules, we had actually conducted many type of uh, awareness programs. Uh, first one to mention was that uh, the MyMap. Actions to the thousand words. This is really good. Because over there, without even saying what we depicted over there, the people really means, uh, became water. I suppose the people became water. And then we had actually given over their dustbins. Because uh, at Dugapur Parish, where we had conducted the uh, awareness program, over there, the people actually throw the garbage in the river itself. So we actually donated them various dustbins and also taught them how to make dustbins, how to make those eco-friendly dustbins. And then the uh, various poems were recited in Bengali. The poems and the most significant part is that the poems are written by our own teachers, our own school teachers. Not those copied from the internet or written by some authors or poets. But it was our own school teacher who uh, wrote such a beautiful poet. People stopping uh, at the roads, they were haunting their bikes, their rides to just record and just watch in my mind because it was so unique to them and they really seem to understand that why we need water. In module 3 we also wrote the research paper where we included the important points of the quality of water quality of Barak River. Actually when we started the project we wanted people to get involved in our school and it's not possible to address every one of the individual. So we ended up taking uh, it was tough to display water and probably some cloud and because we mentioned our uh, websites and email addresses on the fact that people contacted us, at least 100 of them saw it, 10 of them contacted us and that helped us to gain some experience on the thing and moreover it also helped us to improve the project. Part of this project where I am actually saving nature and also understanding the water quality. This project is something different from all those that I've done yet. Because it includes something like uh, you do everything practically. And you don't, it's not limited to books, you know. And we, uh, nowadays we need, yeah, we all study books and then write in papers. But here we are practically experiencing it.